What's up guys? It's Covert Code here and in today's video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a C to Crouch script. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you guys how to view the Explorer tab, the Properties tab and the Insert Objects tab. Okay, that's pretty important. Just go to View, okay, and click on Explorer and Properties. And then to view this tab, just go to uh, Model and click on Insert Object, okay? You need to view these tabs to proceed. Now, I'm just going to create a local script, okay, by clicking on the starter pack right there and inserting a local script. And I'm just going to call this Crouch Animation, okay? I'm going to clear out the entire script and I'm just going to declare a few variables. Now, if you have no idea what variables are, I do have an entire series dedicated to teaching you guys how to script from scratch. But if you just want to learn about variables, then the link will be in the description below. So local user input service is equal to game get service user input service. So this is essentially a service which caters to your needs when it comes to, you know, user input. So if someone presses a key, this service is used to actually track down which key they pressed. Okay. Now local player is equal to game players local player. Okay. So that's your player. So if I'm covert code, this is going to point to the covert code player object. So if I click play really quick, and if you guys like look right here, okay, you can actually notice that this actually has a child now, and that's covert code, and this is my player object. It's not my character, okay? It's not my actual physical form. Uh, it's just, you know, a purely uh, data-oriented um, object, which just describes your character, okay? Pretty much. Now, the character, okay, so local character is equal to player.character or player.character added. Okay, wait. So the character is your actual avatar, okay? So the thing you see on the screen walking around jumping, that's the character, okay? And I'm just basically telling the script that, hey, I want the character variable to be assigned player.character, okay? Or if this doesn't exist, I want it to wait until the character is added. Okay, and then I want that to be assigned to the character variable. And that's just essentially using events. If you don't know what events are, um, I do have a video on that as well. Link will also be in the description below. Now, local humanoid is equal to uh, character wait for child humanoid. Okay, so essentially you're telling the script, hey, I want to wait for something called humanoid to exist within the character object. Okay, so if I click play, uh, the humanoid is essentially what controls how fast you walk, how high you jump, how much health you have. So as you guys can see, uh, inside of my character right there, I have a humanoid object and a bunch of properties. You don't really need to look at these. Um, we're just going to use that to actually play the animation, okay? Now, here's the thing. We actually need to create an animation inside of the local script. So just click on that and type up animation, okay? And... I'm just going to store that in a variable. So local animation equal to uh, script wait for child animation. Okay. And local track is equal to humanoid load animation animation. Okay. So essentially we're just storing this object inside of this variable. Okay. And on line eight, I'm just telling the humanoid that I want to load an animation. Okay. And in return, it's going to create an animation track. That's just essentially, uh, you know, the animation playing in the humanoid, you can control that, you can pause that, you can slow it down, speed it up, etc. Okay, you don't really need to know much about that, just know that we need this to dictate when we want it to play and when we want it to stop. Now, small thing, okay, so I want to make sure that the track is looped, and again, I'm using properties here, I have a video on properties, if you don't know what those are, check that out. And I also want to set the priority of this to enum. Uh, animation priority or action and this is essentially the highest animation priority there is so if you're running okay that has a uh, movement animation priority okay and since the action is higher than the movement okay priority wise then you, the crouch animation will display over the running animation essentially that's why you're setting this line right there okay and this just means that when the animation ends it's going to restart now uh, I'm just going to be doing one thing. So user input service dot input began connect uh, check key down and user input service dot input uh, ended connect check key up. Okay. So 
So remember when uh, I said the user input service pretty much just tracks down which keys you press, okay? That's what we're using uh, these two lines for, okay? So essentially when you press down a key, okay, this will happen. And when you lift your fingers up from the key, this will happen. Now, if you don't know what events are, again, link in the description below, guys. And whenever these two separate events happen, you're just connecting that to a function, okay? And if you don't know what functions are, you know, just watch my video on functions. So local function, check key down, okay? Key and local function, check key up key, okay? So pretty much uh, this function will run on line 21 whenever this triggers and this function will run whenever line 20 is triggered, okay? Now, all I need to do is since this, um, you know, event pretty much happens whenever you press any key. So if you press backspace, this function will get, uh, you know, triggered because you've connected it to this event, okay? We just need to check if the key that you're pressing down is C, okay? Because we don't want this to work um, if you're pressing down space or W or something like that, okay? So if key is equal to enum, okay, actually key dot key code, my bad. If key dot key code is equal to enum, uh, key code dot C, okay, then track play. So you're essentially telling the animation that, hey, if I press down C, I want you to play. Um, I'm just going to copy this, okay? So again, we're checking down if the key uh, which was released uh, is C. And if that's the case, I don't want to play the animation. I want to stop it, okay? And that's pretty much the entire script. Now, there's one small issue, okay? We don't actually have an animation. So you know the way that you actually like sort of bend over and like crouch and walk around when you're in crouch mode, okay? We don't actually have that. We need to make that as well. And if you guys don't actually know how to animate, I do have a video on how to animate. It's quite old. Uh, it still provides a lot of value to those who do not know how to animate though. So I would suggest checking that out. However, all I'm going to do now is just create an animation, um, you know, for my tutorial, I guess. Okay, so I've pretty much created this pretty basic animation, you know, uh, you're just breathing, bent over, just crouching, I guess. Um, now, all we need to do is, assuming now that you've actually created your animation after watching that other video, okay, you're just going to click these three dots and you're going to click export, okay? And I'm just going to call this, um, let's say, uh, crouch tutorial, okay? And I'm going to set the creator to uh, any group I have really um, if I want to create this as myself you could just leave this as me I'm just going to find um, official cover co code uh, fan group I'm just going to say this is for a tutorial as a description and I'm going to submit this and I'm going to get something back which is very important okay and that's this link just make sure that you store this number somewhere you're going to need this Okay, so just copy this by clicking that, okay? And you've copied the ID. Just store that somewhere, you're going to need it very soon. So I'm just going to close this, okay? And go to the animation and paste that number in, and there you go, your animation is loaded in. I'm going to delete this dummy, okay? And that should be pretty much it. So if I click play now, okay? And hold down C, everything should work, okay? So if I press C, as you guys can see, I'm doing this very weird <laughs> uh, crouch animation, you know, I, it was made in like two minutes, so don't judge me. But essentially, it just looks like I'm coming to get you pretty much, okay? So, that's pretty much how to make a C to crouch, um, you know, <laughs> animation. I guess you could call this crouching, it's not really crouching. Um, but I just made a pretty bad animation essentially, okay? But the script works, you just need to make a cool animation or get someone to do it for you guys. Um, I do have a tutorial on that, as I said. You can use that knowledge which the, tutor the tutorial provides to get some great insight on how to make a good animation which doesn't look like mine, um, which hopefully takes you more than two minutes to make. 
But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Um, I would really appreciate if you leave a like on this video and subscribe. I have a ton of videos just like this one, which provide massive value to anyone out there who's willing to learn. And if you have any suggestions about what videos I should make in the future, make sure to leave a comment in the comment section down below suggesting what video I should make next. And I'll see you guys next time.